our, our main focus is on is on life and property uh, and in fires. We do in motor vehicles as well, but that's our prime focus, of course. And to that end, um, we engage very strongly with the community, with lodge managers, with building managers, um, because the guests come and go so frequently, it's hard to, to have a meaningful sort of education program with them. So it's, it's very important that we engage with the lodge managers and, and I think we've been quite successful of that over the years. At the beginning of each season, um, we throw a free breakfast for lodge managers uh, and, and building managers to come along. Uh, and I think we had over 60 participants this year from the mountain um, and just running through what their responsibilities are with their you know, e emergency services manuals or safety manuals, um, checking hydrants, making sure things are, are done uh, in time uh, and, and checking on a Tuesday, smoke alarms, panels, etc. Um, and that's a very, very useful thing for us. Um, as, as I'm sure anyone who's been to a fire will know, if you can get to a building and someone's standing out there in a red hat or a red coat and says, we have 43 occupants and 43 people are accounted for out of the building, that's a whole different ball game to not knowing who's inside and having to send BA crews in um, to search a, a building that escalates the risk factor for us. And plus it's a, it's a life factor uh, you know, for the people inside as well. So that, that particular session at the beginning of the year is just super crucial to capture and I, I think we're doing a pretty reasonable job at that. So I'm Steve Belly, um, I run the Mount Hotham Chamber of Commerce, also Deputy Chair of the Alpine Community Recovery Committee and Chair of the Alpine Resilience Partnership. Um, we've been speaking with the regional headquarters on some messaging, uh, primarily for our cold community. Uh, we're getting a lot of visitation out from these guys um, in season and we just need to get our messaging a little bit clearer, what to expect, what, what you need to wear, uh, chains on, chains off, and what to expect when you get here, particularly in bad weather. So we've been working with these guys who have got connections into some of these communities who have been working with messaging on fire safety as well. So the fire messaging is starting to get out through some of these communities. The Mount Hotham website has a first timers guide and what we've done with that is we've provided that to CFA and we've also tweaked some of that information and we're in the process of getting some of that translated at the moment and what we'll do is we'll just refine that messaging and add to it when we need to.